This is slide eight, the mature embryo sac. The first thing that we are asked to identify on this slide is the ovary low seal. And the low seal is just a space that surrounds each of the ovules. So as you can see right now, the pointer is hovering over a white space right here that surrounds each of our ovules here. So it, it actually continues around, all around this ovule. And of course, this will be present in each of the carpels as well. So here's another space or loceal surrounding this ovule. Okay, so that'll continue around. Again, of course, this is the ovule. This is the ovary wall. Inside the ovule, we have our developing mega gametophyte or embryo sac. So in order to see that more clearly, we are going to increase our magnification. All right, and the last time uh, I recorded slide seven, I mentioned that the embryo sac was undergoing mitotic divisions. So the one cell that had been our megaspore had undergone two divisions already, producing four nuclei, and had yet to undergo one more mitotic division, producing eight nuclei. So ultimately, our mature embryo sac will have eight nuclei, and in this one, we can see about seven. It is very difficult to find in one uh, embryo sac all eight very clearly. So this is probably about the best we're going to see. We're going to increase our magnification once more to see all eight or all seven of those as clearly as possible. So here we are, we're inside the embryo sac. Uh, you can see that here we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and possibly an eighth, although I'm not sure. We have at least seven of our nuclei within this um, female gametophyte, the embryo sac. So each of these nuclei have a specific name and a specific purpose. One of them, of course, will be the egg. And I'm going to hover over the one that I believe to be the egg. It is present usually at one end of the embryo sac, and it is flanked by two synergids, which are two of the other nuclei. So this is the egg, one synergid, and the second synergid. Um, we know that one of these synergids will ultimately die off to allow for the sperm, which again is coming down the tube of the tube cell, and will enter through the micropile through here. Um, and it will, one of the sperm will of course fertilize our egg to produce our plant embryo, which is of course diploid. And then the second sperm will join with our polar nuclei, which this is one of the polar nuclei, and this is the second polar nuclei. Uh, they are the two in the most in the middle of the cell. Um, however, they do tend to gravitate to the extremes, which gives them their name, polar nuclei. And then the last three nuclei will be at the other end of the embryo sac. Here is one, here is another, and there would be a third. These are three antipodal cells. So they are at the opposite end from the egg and the synergids. So for this slide, which again is slide eight, our mature female gametophyte or embryo sac, we've seen at least seven, if not eight, of the nuclei that would be present in that, as well as we talked about the micropile, which would enter, which would be the pore where the sperm would enter here to um, undergo double fertilization. All right, so those are the things we need to see in slide eight. I will zoom out once more. Uh, so you can see the whole thing. There is about 100 times magnification. And there is our ovule. 
and through the entire ovary here. Okay, so that wraps up our slides. If you have any questions, of course, you can feel free to contact me at cfry at lvc.edu, and I will help you answer any of the questions you might have on the slides. Thank you.